السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی چینل ایم آسف میتھ کارنر ٹوڈے ان شاء اللہ وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ کیلس ٹیبل اینڈ امبیڈنگ ان گروپ تھیوری ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ کیلی ٹیبل اٹ از ویری کمپلسری ٹو فرسٹ انڈرسٹینڈ واٹ از امبیڈنگ واٹ از امبیڈنگ ان گروپ تھیوری لیٹ اسٹارٹ Embedding in group theory. Embedding and embedding of a group. Embed means fix. How to, uh, we are going to fix one group into an other group. So embedding of a group G into group G prime. Embedding of group G into G prime is simply a monomorphism of G to G prime. What is monomorphism? Monomorphism means that when we take any mapping from same groups from g to g and uh, that will be homomorphism so order is preserved uh, operator should be preserved and it is also one to one in other words if g is embedded in group g prime If G is bedded, then what contain a subgroup H isomorphic to G. If we are going to embed this G in G prime, then there is a subgroup H should be in G prime, which is isomorphic to G. If we are going to G embedded in G prime, then a subgroup of g prime should be isomorphic to g isomorphic mean there is a mapping between h and g which is which should be bijective mean one to one and on, on to and also homomorphic also homomorphism present in the mapping of h and g Let's come to the Kali theorem. Kali theorem. Any group G can be embedded in a group of bijective mapping. In a group of bijective mapping of a certain set. If bijective mapping has been done, then it can be easily embedded to other group. Proof. Let G be a group. For each small g belongs to g, small g is the element of g, define a mapping phi of g, phi of g is from g to g, because we have discussed in embedding that is first the mapping should be monomorphism and monomorphism is a mapping between same sets, same groups. So, Mapping is here defined that when we take phi of x that it give us gx where x is belong to this first g and gx belongs to second g. So x is domain and gx is range. To prove phi is bijective mapping let take when uh, x and y belongs to g and phi of x phi g of x is equal to phi g of y so as we define here that phi g of x is equal to gx where phi g of x is equal to gx similarly phi g of y is equal to gy by cancellation law x is equal to y so here one to one is proved now we are going to prove that if one to one is proved then we can easily see that these are the same groups and image of every x is should be the inverse of x present in g the image of inverse of x present in g so for every element there is image in other g so it is also on to as g is one to one also phi of g is on to because y belongs to g 
and the image of inverse of y also belongs to g because these these are both same sets so elements are same number of elements are same so the phi of g is bijective mapping first thing is proved now we have to we take a subgroup from the other g in which we are abandoning first g that should be like this because our mapping told us that phi of capital g these elements are phi of phi of small g where small belongs to uh, small g belongs to capital g small g is the element of capital g when we applying mapping these elements looks like this phi of small g so phi of small g and phi of small g prime belongs to phi of g then any x belongs to g now we are going to prove that these are also belongs to g when we take uh, with when we take the mapping with x with x is belongs to g so phi of g and phi of g prime of x by applying associative law phi of g to phi of prime g of x and we know that this mapping define us earlier we have defined that phi when apply phi on x this give us g prime of x because this is phi prime g of x so again when phi g apply on g prime of x it give us g g prime of x and which is similarly we can write in phi of form in phi form because uh, we are talking about the subgroup so for all phi g g prime belong to g as well because these are the elements of g so here we can easily write these both of these phi of g dot phi of g is equal to phi g g prime where which is which is equal to phi of g let's next this implies that here we can see that this implies that phi of g is a subgroup we have proved that which is closed and which is all the elements of a group so it is all by in all bijective mapping we have proved earlier therefore the identity of phi of g will be look like this phi of e where e belong to g and its inverse element is will look like this phi g inverse where phi of g belong to phi of g. this is this is the subgroup we have taken now we take this subgroup isom uh, we take the mapping of isomorphism of this group which we define in embedding that h should be isomorphic to g so h this phi is h this phi of g is h and we take its isomorphism mapping with g now we show that g is isomorphic to phi of g for this define mapping psi we define another function psi because this is phi was here that's why we uh, introduce psi psi is a mapping from g to phi of g where this g is going to embedded and this phi of g is the subgroup of that g in which this g is going to be embedded so psi of g will be equal to phi of small g because we when give the elements of this g to psi small g belongs to this g this is the this is our domain and the range will be this type of phi of g these are the elements of phi of capital g so when we put element of this g the image will be 
elements of this phi of t so now in isomorphism we need to prove three things one is that mapping should be one to one second that mapping should be one to because or we can use a single word single function bijective and bijective mean one to one and on to and the third thing is homomorphism the operator should be observed uh, preserved in these in this type of mapping then it is called isomorphism so let's start proving that it is isomorphic to prove psi is one to one we apply function psi on this the psi of g1 is equal to psi of g2 will be equal to this phi of g1 phi of g2 and phi of g2 and phi of g1 we can write like this because this phi of g1 was equal to phi of g2 here we can write phi of e because identity element can be put anywhere we can multiply when identity element to this the result is same phi of 2 then this phi of 2 when comes to this side of equal sign then it will become the inverse so phi of g and phi of g inverse will be equal to phi of identity this so we have proved this that phi of g1 phi of g2 is equal to phi of g1 g2 inverse and this is equal to as the phi function was defined earlier g1 and g2 inverse here g2 inverse will come to the other side of equal sign it will become g so g1 and is equal to g2 here 1 to 1 is proved and psi is 1 to 1 also psi is on to because each phi of g in phi of capital g is the image of g in where g belongs to g so that's why uh, when the set is totally completely used then codomain and range are same then it is on to, on to that's why moreover now we have to prove the third thing which is isomorphism uh, homomorphism so let's prove that homomorphism then the our proof will be completed so we take the psi mapping psi of g1 g2 will be equal to phi of because it we described earlier phi of g1 g2 and phi of g1 g2 we can write that phi of g1 and phi of g2 and phi of g1 is equal to psi of g1 and phi of g2 is equal to psi of g2 hence the operator is preserved psi apply combine and can be psi apply separately are equal so the psi of homomorphism psi do so that psi is also homomorphism the three condition fulfilled of isomorphism again memorize isomorphism means that mapping should be one to one on to and is homomorphism or homomorphic homomorphic homomorphism means operator is preserved on to main on to means uh, code main and range will be equal every element the quantity of elements in first set should be equal to second set and one to one means every each element is mapped with the single element so input is single and output is single here is a corollary or result from the theorem is every finite group of order n can be embedded 
in a group of bijective mapping of set consisting of n elements we can easily see that n elements means that the number of elements are same so image of each element will be uh, can be easily mapped one to one mapping can be taken easily and on to mapping also can be taken easily so it the that group can be embedded easily if the bijective mapping will point and the number of elements are same here the proof and thank you so much